everyone welcome back again to the channel and in today's video I'm going to be doing something very different and that I've never done before on my channel just kidding it's a Timu haul hope you're all not getting bored with watching Timu hauls because I'm having a lot of fun doing it this place is awesome they have things that I never knew I needed before. They have things that I needed and couldn't afford to get anyplace else, but I can get them on Timu. So yes, I love Timu. So let me tell you a little bit about this haul. This won't be a very big haul. Even though I have 36 items, it won't be a very big haul. And you'll see why once I start showing you the items. First, let me give you some information about this haul. This one came in seven days. And I think that may be the fastest that I've ever received a Timu haul. The most expensive item in this haul is $6.88. And as I said, there's 36 items. The very least expensive was three pennies. Yes, you heard me right. I did not stutter. Three pennies. Where can you buy anything for three pennies except maybe a yard sale? But anyway, I found it on Timu, and it's a very nice item. When you see it, I think you will agree. Now let me give you some of the prize seats. Okay, my total was $118.15. They gave me a discount of $76.95. That made my new total $41.20. My taxes were $3.35. I had a credit coming of $16.86 and the credit was for refunding of damaged products that I received, playing games, price adjustments, and then every once in a while they send you these little pop-up gifts that you can open that have credit in them and I just save them till I have enough to turn in with one of my orders. That brought my final cost down to $27.69. My total savings, $93.81. And the average cost per item of these 36 items was $0.77. Cents. Way lots cheaper than anything the Dollar Tree has to offer. Now, y'all, I'm not knocking Dollar Tree. I still do buy things at the Dollar Tree. But anytime I'm going to buy something before I get it at Walmart, Dollar Tree, Dollar General, Target, Family Dollar, even the grocery store. You know, if it's something you can buy in a grocery store. I always check Timu first and compare their prices. And here's the best way to do that if you are a Timu shopper or planning to become one. First, look up the item you want on Timu. Put it in your shopping cart. Now, don't check that you want to buy it. Just put it in your cart. Take your phone with you when you go to the store and look for that item and see if the store has it for cheaper than what you have it on Timu. Now, if the store has it cheaper than Timu, just remove that item from your shopping cart and buy it at the store. If the store is higher, then you're going to buy it from Timu. On to the showing of the items. Okay. The first item is one that I've bought many, many times before. And it's because I think it's a very good quality item. I use it in my sewing room. And I have also started taking it to work with me and using it at work. I paid $1.48 for it on their semi-annual sale. And here's what it is. This transparent case, my back's falling. Um, 
there's there's three little holes here for ventilation on top. Has a lid that locks, but it doesn't clasp, but it's still tight enough. In my sewing room, I use it to hold seam rippers, um, scissors, bobbins, needles, laces, rickracks. And for work, I put it in my work bag and I take band-aids and aspirins, uh, labels, hand lotions, anything else that I need to use at work, I take that. So, and I probably will be ordering maybe two or three more of these because these things are really nice and sturdy. Now, I know I could probably get one for a dollar and a quarter, similar to this at the Dollar Tree. And if the Dollar Tree ever has one, then I will buy them at the Dollar Tree. But I've never seen anything made quite like this at the Dollar Tree. It's a good long size. Nice depth this way. Like I said, the lid locks, but it doesn't, it clasps, but it doesn't lock. Okay, I'm not going to spend all my time talking about that one thing. Now this next item is one that I bought specifically to take to work. And I have already taken it to work and used it, and I love it. It works great. And it's this three-in-one phone charger. I think it is three feet long. And at the end, it has three ports. Um, I think one of them's for an iPhone, and maybe one's for a Samsung Galaxy. And then the other one is the one that I use on my phone, which is Android. And the reason I have the Band-Aid on it, in case you're noticing, that's because that's the one that goes on my phone. That just helps me identify it faster. Now, I have seen other people haul these, and they said they didn't like them, that it took long for it to charge their phone. But I don't find that to be the case with me. I've used, Like I said, I've taken it to work with me already and used it. I find that it charges my phone perfectly fine. In fact, I feel like it may even charge it faster than my regular charger. And the cool thing about this is, I wish I could plug it up to see, but this, this is red. It may not look red in the video, it looks pink. But there's flashers in here. When you plug it in, it's charging, it's flashing like that. Kind of like a marquee sign, it's really pretty. So I'm thinking about maybe getting some more of the chargers from Timu, phone chargers, since I've tried this one and I know that it works well. Maybe get two more of them um, to take one, a couple more to take to work, maybe one to leave here at the house. And the reason I had to buy an extra charger to take to work, I only had one charger and I had to unplug it, put it in my work bag, take it to work, plug it in when I was ready to come home, unplug it. And all that plugging and unplugging was causing this part right here at the top to get a crack in it. So I thought, well, if I get one and I just permanently leave it plugged in here at the house and have another one that I permanently plug in at work, I won't have to worry about that. Okay, now this next item, this is the one that I told you that I was buying Oh, I've got to tell you how much I paid for the charger. The three-in-one charger I got on a lightning deal, and I paid $2.19 for it, worth every penny. Now, this next item I'm going to show you, this is the one that I paid $6.88 for. This is the most expensive item, and it's called a 30-watt, six-port charger. And this is what it is. It has six ports. There's an off and on switch. It's a really good size, but not extremely big and bulky. And it has the regular plug-in. The reason I bought this is so that I could use it with my ring light that I had showed you in my other haul. And it's a perfect fit. The extra large cord on it gives me room to plug it up at a bigger distance so that I'm not limited in the area that I can use my ring light. I can also plug more than one item to charge it because Timu has a lot of items that you buy that plug in and charge. You can plug six of them in and charge them at the same time. I have already used this with this at work. And I'll show you. It just plugs right in here like this. That's how it does. 
and you can plug five more of them in. So this is a very handy thing for me to have. Worth every penny. Now the next item is also something that I bought to take to work with me. I paid 68 cents for it on a semi-annual sale and it is a pink makeup bag. Now it is made out of a plastic. It's not stretchy. It doesn't have a mesh on it or anything. It might be considered vinyl. I'm not sure. It has two cloth handles on it, fabric handles, and a little zipper. Here's how wide it is across the bottom. That's how wide it is. And then the length. Um, I'm putting extra odds and ends and things that I take to work in there. Like I said, aspirins, band-aids, nail files, manicure kits, lotions, anything that I think that I might need at work, I'm putting in here. What I'm going to do, I'm going to try to find maybe at the Dollar Tree, or I'll check on Timu first to see if I can find a small little basket that's this size and this length that I can put in there, and I'll set the basket down in there to give it a little bit of stability. And then this will go in my work bag. I haven't taken it to work yet, but that will go to work with me. Now, the next item is one that I bought for me to use here in my kitchen, and it's called a four-prong hook. I paid 98 cents for it on a semi-auto sale, semi-annual sale, and this is what it is. It has these four little hooks that rotate independently You can hang things on them. And what I'm planning on using it for is to hang my measuring cups or my measuring spoons. I have a wall over here that I have all my measuring things on, and this is what I'm planning on using. There's an adhesive. I've already put it on the back. I don't know if you can see that or not. There's an adhesive that you peel off and stick, and then there's another little section on there that you peel off. Then you stick it to the wall. And then you hang. You can hang pot holders, oven mitts, kitchen towels, washcloths, but I'm going to use it for teaspoons and measuring cups. Item is also one that I bought for myself for my house. It's called a kitchen vegetable cleaner. I paid 78 cents for it on the semi-annual sale, and this is what it looks like. It has these little tiny bristles. There's a holder on it. There's holes to let water out. You put your hand in here and you can scrub your carrots, your potatoes, radishes, apples, I don't know, anything that you need to scrub. Cucumbers, you put it under running water, do like this. You could also use this in the shower to shampoo your dog, to shampoo your own hair, your own head, to scrub your body. There's lots of uses for it. You can use it to clean your makeup brushes. You know, just put this on your hand like this and scrub your makeup brushes. I'll get a lot of use out of this. I may buy a couple more to use in the shower and for cleaning my makeup brush, even though I have some other makeup brush cleaners. And the next item is one that I bought for a part of my giveaway that will be coming up. Hopefully, I'm planning on doing my giveaway this month in July. It's called the Red Oil Brush. I paid 48 cents for it on the semi-annual sale. And it's just this little red silicone brush. It has a hole for hanging it. And I'm leaving it in the package because it is going to be part of my giveaway. It has a flexible silicone that you can use for butter and oil, you know, to spread on your baking pans, to rub on your bread, butter your toast if you want to make grilled cheese. That will be in the giveaway. And the next item is one that I bought for myself. And I have purchased these maybe once or twice from Timu before. I'm not sure. It's called 10 Quilting Clips. 58 cents on a semi-annual sale. And it's just these little fabric quilts that, clips that I get. I do have a bunch of these, but I think you need more than you think you need because... They, they are plastic with a metal hinge, which can break after a while. 
You can drop them in the floor and step on them and break them. You know, so I just think it's handy to have these around because after a while, you know, they're going to they're gonna wear out and you're going to need to replace them. So I bought another bag of 10 of those to use in my sewing room. This next item is one that I bought to use with two other items that I got from Timu. It's called Five Piece Gibbets for 98 cents on a semi-annual sale. And it's these little tiny things that you put on your Crocs. Kind of like shoe decorations. You don't get to pick, I don't think, on these, you don't get to pick what they, they just send you what they want you to have. So we have a ice cream, a little flower, shark, baby shark, a rainbow, and a crown. Now, I, like I said, I got five of these. I got these five for 98 cents. Well, let me show you this. I found at the Dollar Tree they had some. Now, I have never seen them at the Dollar Tree before, or it could have been because I wasn't looking for them because I didn't have Crocs which I have Crocs now because I bought two pair from Timu. So I picked them up from the Dollar Tree, but I got four of them from the Dollar Tree for a dollar and a quarter. Only four for a dollar and a quarter. I got five for 89 cents from Timu. Let me show you the ones I got from the, the Dollar Tree. And they're cute. They're really good. I mean, I like them. I got these four for a dollar and a quarter from the Dollar Tree to use on my Crocs. As you can see, I've got room for putting some of these other ones on here. I've been wanting to get one of these for a while. i seen another lady. Let me show it to you first and I'll explain what it is. It's called an electronic case. I got it in pink for $1.99. And that was the regular price. It wasn't on sale. And what it has, um, two separate compartments. There's a wristlet. Very nicely made. Good quality, it seems to be. Open these up. You have a compartment here that has a deep compartment. For two little smaller ones with mesh. And on this side, you have three little smaller ones with mesh. This part here is elastic. You can put your electronic cords in it. Then you have this here that you could use maybe to hold a cell phone or eyeglasses. Then you have one more deep mesh. But what I'm going to be using this for, I saw another person haul one of these on a video. And I always like to watch other Timu hauls. And I also read in the comments. Well, while she was showing this, and I was reading in the comments, somebody else commented down below that they had bought one of them, and they used it to hold their diabetic supplies. And I thought, what a great idea. I'm going to get one for that. So this is going to be to hold my blood testing meter from my diabetic supplies for $2. That's why I got that. Now, this next item is the one that I'm using in the giveaway. And it is the item that I bought that was the least expensive on a semi-annual sale. I have bought these many, 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 many times before, but never for this price. Three pennies. And it's that really nice ladle that has the holes on one side, solid on the other, so you can dip your soups and drain them has a nice long handle with a hole in it. And this is going to be part of my giveaway. But I only paid three pennies for this. Some lucky person's going to get a three penny ladle spoon. Now the rest of the items that I want to show you, they're all the same thing, but they're different. Does that make any sense? Probably not. 
And half of these 36 items that I got are remaining in this one thing. So I'm going to show them to you in sections. They're face masks. Now I got these for Mask Monday, but I also got some for a giveaway. Now, all these that I have in my hand, uh, they're two different companies. Images, Emollient, and Sedure. The reason I like my face mask from Timu, first of all, the price. These are all 99 cents a piece. Second, they have a very big selection of unusual masks. I think you will agree. This one right here is black bean. I've never heard of a facial mask made with black beans. This one is oatmeal. Now I have heard of oatmeal. Uh, Mary Kay, a long time ago, used to have oatmeal facial mask, but you had to mix it up with water in a dish. This one uh, didn't really tell what kind it is. It just said it was a uh, moisturizing mask pink and blue, 10 and 1. Didn't really say a whole lot about them two, except I guess this mask is pink and this one is blue. But those were 98, 99 cents. The next ones that I'm going to show you were all 98 cents. And these were all bought on the semi-annual sale. And I bought quite a few of the ones that were 98 cents. This one is Sador, and it's just a golden butterfly eye mask. This one, I'm not sure what it's made out of. It looks like honey. It's Hemiel. It's a different brand name. And it says, Firm Youth Whitening removes toxins, wrinkles, and realizes firmness. Avocado, which I have heard of, avocado mask. Like I said, these all particular ones were 98 cents. Fruit Mangosteen Moisturizing Smoothing Facial Mask. This one is from a company called Zozu. This is also from Zozu, and it's called a Fruit Patea Nourishing Repair Hydrating Facial Mask. This one is from Sadoa. And it's apple. This is the dough, and it's grape. I actually bought two of those because this one's going to go in a giveaway. This one is the dough, and it's pink peach, peach face. I hope these all smell as good as what they look like. Lemon flavored or scented. Shea Butter Moisturizing Mask. Raw Rice Pulp Mask. This one's made with rice. Aloe Vera Facial Mask. This is from Hemiel. I have heard of an aloe vera mask before. Chamomile Soothing Mask from Sedoa. I've heard of chamomile mask before. Pomegranate mask, olive mask, I've never heard of an olive mask before, Hemiel Lady Anti-Aging and Whitening Facial Mask, and Sadoa Goat Milk Mask. This one was 89 cents, and it's a Sedoa collagen mask, 10 times collagen content. There's that one, 89. This one was 88, and it's a hemo mask, elastic moisture firmness, and it looks to me like it's got the honey in it also. And then the last one I got is from Bio Aqua, and I bought a lot of Bio Aqua masks. And it's green tea, and I have heard of the green tea mask before. So that's it. That's it for this haul. Like I said, most of it 
was these masks because I'm stocking up on for Mask Monday and for my giveaway. So I bought a lot of them. I have started buying things to take to work with me, such as the little makeup bag and then things for my own personal use in my kitchen and my home. Thank you for joining us today in this Timu Hall video. So glad to see you here. Y'all come back any old time. Bye for this one.